This is Mike Walden, and I am standing here at the magnificent Super Dave Osborne Memorial Sports Arena and Fieldhouse, which is located just about 200 yards southeast of the Super Dave Television Studios. The Super One is on his way over right now, and he should be here at any moment. I know that he has a fantastic exhibition of mid-air artistry planned for you, so we should really be in for something special this evening. And speaking of something special, this man, Super Dave Osborne. Hello, Super. Hello, Mike. Welcome to the show. Let Thank me apologize you. quickly that I took so long getting over here, but it is a run from the studio to the field house, and I had to change my boots and everything else. Well, I see you have some brand new basketball shoes. I haven't seen those before. They've just come out, Mike. They'll be in the stores the first of the month. Uh, you can see the bottom of them. Oh. Uh, they're called Air Osborne shoes, if you want to buy them. Air Osborne shoes? Yes, they're made specifically for white people who can't jump. Oh, that's terrific. We can't make enough of them. Oh, I don't doubt that at all. Well, anyway, Super, what great event do you have planned for us tonight? Well, it's kind of a double header, Mike. I'm going to be doing a stunt later on, but before, uh, everyone's going to get a chance to meet my first graduating class, four young men. Uh, they're graduating from the Super Dave Slam Dunk and Acrobatic School. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great story. When these four men came to me, they could barely spell the word balance. And now they can soar 15 feet in the air with the help of these Super Dave rocket trampolines. 15 feet, that's something. You're going to come right out of your chair. I'll bet I will, and I'm really waiting for this event to take place. So, Super, you take it away. The arena is all yours. Thank you very much, Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present the fantastic Super Dave Osborne, Bud Light Daredevils, Keith Guy, Ty and Tim. Thank you very much, Mike. It's years of experience, but the kids were great, too, I thought. They did a nice job. I'd like to meet them. Well, terrific. Let's start with Tim and uh, say where you're from, Tim. Corinth, Mississippi. Uh-huh. Ty from Memphis, Tennessee. Guy, Fairgrove, Missouri. Uh, incidentally, Mike, Guy is our only born-again dunker, and he's a very unique individual. Yes, indeed. And Keith from Memphis. Okay. Guys, I'm very proud of you, and I'm thrilled, and uh, you'll be back, uh, believe me. We'll be working together a lot. Uh, stay healthy and clean off uh, the mats, and I'll do my stunt. Okay. Nice good luck. Good luck. Okay. Boy, they've really come a long way. Well, Mike, you know that because mm -hmm. you saw them when they first arrived here, and uh, they were stepping on their own feet. Now they're like magicians. Well, I know you've got a special surprise for us tonight. You always do, but tonight something extra special. What is it? Well, Mike, uh, I'm so excited about this for several reasons, and before I talk about it, I want to bring in my good friend and a man who's become a very important part of my show a regular on my show now, my very good friend, stud coordinator, Fuji Hagiito. Fuji. Hello, Mike. <laughs> um, Mike, about four weeks ago, I said to Fuji, somewhere in this series, I want to knock the people's socks off, a stunt that they've never heard of. And he came to me the next day and said, what about if I build a catapult that will shoot you in the air 40 feet? On your way down, I'll throw a basketball up. You'll catch it and slam dunk it 
and it will be the highest slam dunk in the history of the world. Mm. And I said, Fuji, if you can do that, you're something special. And uh, what you're looking at right here, Mike, is uh, the machine that well, we're going to try tonight. He has done it, so let's take a look at the machine. Tell us all about it. I sure will. Uh, Fuji will help me a little bit because I'm not sure of everything. But uh, this is basically a hard foam base, which I will lay on. I will count Fuji down, five, four, three, two, one. He will press a button. This will slowly raise and lock in at about 72 degrees. Is that correct, Fuji? That's right. That's All right. right. Then I will count Fuji down again, five, four, three, two, one, and boom, he hits the rocket pad and launches me up in the air. Danny, can we get a shot 40 feet up there? Mm, 40 feet. Yes, and what I hope to do, Mike, is when I am shot up there, I will hit the ceiling with the button on the top of my hat. When I do, I will hold my breath like that for about three seconds. That will hold me up there. Then I will start to spiral down. On my way down, Fuji will throw the ball up. I will catch it at about 20 feet, turn over, slam dunk, land in my hands, flip to my feet, and take a bow. Wait a minute now, 40 feet up in the air, and then as you are coming down, doing all of those other things, that's unbelievably scary. So are you, Mike. Uh, thank you, Susan. I don't want to rush things, but for the first time in my life, I've got butterflies in Well, my of course, I can understand that. Well, now, Fuji, what is it exactly you're going to do? All I do is press remote control, and then Super Dave take off like rocket. Okay, okay, come on. Thank you very much. Right. Let me have a ball, please. Fuji, here's how high I want the ball on the way down. As okay. you can see, the catapult is made from an iron magnesium base. And the propulsion seat right. and the headrest are made of Saskatchewan seal skin bindings. <laughs> my feet where they're supposed to be, please. You about okay. ready, Super? In a second, Mike. Okay. All right. If you back over there, Fuji. All right. So we're all clear. I'm going to count down five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to slowly raise up and lock in. Then I'm going to count down five, four, three, two, one. You're going to shoot me. Hat's going to hit the ceiling. Hold my breath. Down, ball, dunk, land, and bow. OK, here we go. First countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. All right, we're stopping. No, we're not. Dave, you want the ball? Back it down, please. Get him down. Hurry, hurry. And so clean up this mess. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's amazing how much glass you can eat when you don't fill up on bread. Oh, well, that was pretty successful. <laughs> that worked very well. I thought that was going to hurt, but it didn't. <laughs> Sorry, Super Dave. For the better of Jama. Hey, look, we're all human beings. Everybody makes a mistake. Oh, boy. You're off tomorrow, aren't you? Yes. Why don't you spend the morning doing some errands, and then maybe in the afternoon, you could go fuck yourself. Exactly what happened? Oh, nothing, Mike. I did basically what I said I was going to do. I hit the thing, I came around, I slam dunked it. I just did it much faster and uh, <laughs> very successful. But are, are you all right? I mean, bleeding internally, Mike, but I think I'll have a little gauze for dinner and then I'll be fine. What? I still don't know. Don't keep what talking happened. to me, Mike. I've said I'm okay. I'm all right. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show, ladies and gentlemen, this evening. Uh, I'm sorry that you couldn't see what I did, but we'll do this again real soon because. When you have fun like that, you want to do it again. And I had a good time. What happened was, I didn't check this whole thing, and uh, Quasimodo had hooked up the uh, whole gym equipment to this one board where he has the backboard release and the lights and the rocket thing that he developed. And I see now that the wrong button was pushed.